Well, good evening, good people. Mark Holmes here, and as always, I want to say thank you all for watching, commenting, subscribing, and being part of the Joe Boo Sports Report. Without you guys, as well as you ladies, you know that this literally does not work. We are, well, we're in week 12 of the NFL season. The Cowboys have already had 11 games, and we're 8-3. and three. You know, we've got six games left. That's it, six games left. One thing this season has done that is not good is you have to look at the officiating, and the NFL has got to do better than what they're doing. You know, maybe it's always been bad, but you didn't realize it was as bad because you didn't have all of the cameras and all the angles and all the shots are isolated on, you know, every player. You know, I grew up, there was basically a fuzzy screen and, you know, one or two camera angles, and you didn't have what we have now. But when you know better, you should be doing better. Now, I get it. You know, I was talking about this during my uh, live stream that Micah Parsons yesterday against the Commanders did not get a single call, not a single one. And the holds are outrageous that he's getting. Now, I know what people are saying. People are saying, well, you could call holding on every play, you know, and they're, not, you know, and they're trying to make excuses for it. But some of these are so bad that you have to question, is there actually a fix in on this? Because if you're the NFL when you see videos come out and you see literally players get pushed hands to the face and the officials right there, when you literally see pass interference, you know, where the guy is literally draped all over him and we see it over and over again, you start to question whether or not there is a narrative with the officials and is there actually a fix? And that's the problem because you're already in bed with gambling sites to now have people wondering, are the officials being told what to do from above? Is this pro wrestling? And I get it. You know, people are going to say you're just a homer and you're always just going to look out for your Cowboys. I get that. But take your, you know, anti-blue glasses off for a minute. And I want you to see, this is from Michael Gilkin on Twitter. He posted this. I don't know if he did the work for this and all or not. But you start seeing some of these, they are pretty bad. Now, what you'll notice is Micah Parsons, of course, they put him in the yellow box there. I want you to watch these and you tell me, is this a questionable non-call? Should he not be complaining about these calls? And this isn't just one, it's several of them over and over again. Let's watch. So you see Micah Parsons there. The guy is behind him and has turned him 180 degrees. Did you see that? Now look at this. That's clearly he got punched in the face. Look at this one. Again, they keep wrapping him and he's being pulled from behind. Now, are you telling me I'm crazy? Now, that looked like the same play as before, but that was a different play. Look at this. Two guys. Two guys holding him. Look at him. Look at it. Now, how in the heck? Watch him again. How in the heck are you literally going to say that? No, there was not a single. There was not a single hold or hands to the face to Micah Parsons. That, that, come on, man. And this is not just this game. This is every game. I get it. Micah Parsons is an absolute beast. And maybe it's unfair to these offensive linemen to have to try and stop this guy who is that fast and that strong. But this is not right. This is just not right at all. And the thing is, is when we don't get these calls, they're game changers. And I know people will say, well, your Cowboys just suck. You know, you just suck. Well, if you don't get calls like this and you literally are allowing people to hold your players and keep them from being able to do their job, that has a direct outcome in what happens to a game. It, it just does. 
And this is something that the NFL needs to really look at. You know, the NFL does not want to pay officials to be full-time officials. And, you know, when you have guys that are officiating games and making all these mistakes, you know, a player, you know, if you wear the wrong color socks, we're going to find you. If you got your shirt tail out, we're going to find you. Well, where is it for the officials when they mess up this bad? 87 there literally looked like he was trying to tackle Micah Parsons. Literally. And that hands to the face, dude's arm is out extended. His head is backwards. How do you miss this? Come on, man. And I don't want to hear this from, from the, the you know, Eagle fans and, and the Washington fans. Oh, you're just crying because it's the, no, I'm, I'm being honest here. And if they're making calls like this, or not making calls like this on your team, you should be upset and I'll be upset with you. I just want a fair called game for both sides. It can't be leaning one way or the other to have a narrative. And Eagles, you know, you know, you have gotten more than your share of calls that have gone your way. It, it, NFL, fix this shit. This is, this is outrageous. It is just outrageous. There is no reason for a organization where you literally are paying a hundred million dollars. Amazon did for that game that you can't get calls right on the field. It's just, it's just not right, guys. Who, alrighty. With that being said, it has been a tough, long day today with our buddy Rashid passing and um, I'm going to do my fireside chat and I am going to head on to bed. I appreciate each and every one of you guys as well as you ladies and I will see you soon. Eagles lose, I'm still going to have a good week. As long as the Eagles lose, I'm still going to have a good week. Everybody loses, I'm still having a good week because we're still in it by one game. God damn it! Jason fucking Garrett, seriously? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Is that what y'all went through for 10 years? Exactly. But we actually had a good team. What? Oh, now you want to see the shit now. When he was y'all. When we were dealing with it all this damn time. How do you fucking call plays? How in the fuck? Oh my god, I don't believe this right now. How do you feel? How do you feel about the team, my shit? Oh my god, like it's Jason Gert! It's Jason Gert's fault! Like y'all been saying for ten years. Jason Gert! How in the fuck man, you call, man, uh, how do you call on fourth and the third and 15, you call a five yard play. Then the next play, you go down, you call a, a 20 yard play, they hit the first down. Then you put Danny Dimes in position to throw a fucking interception. Seriously? Run the goddamn ball.